Good morning and welcome Team Southside, where teamwork makes the dream work. Mr. Reynolds here along with... Miss Spears! A long time since we had Miss Spears I on. I know, I'm so excited. Bring a little extra enthusiasm to yeah. the morning but, announcements. Well, today. it is Friday, so we should make it a fun Friday. Yeah, that's exactly right. Go ahead and stand and prepare for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, Ms. Spears, it's time for the reveal for our Esther mystery. We've been working all week to see if we can determine how many squares are on this sheet. And I must say, it was surprising to me how many there were. Yes. I, I didn't really, uh, my first estimate was not as high as it needed to be. Mm. So our clues were that all three digits are even, that the digit in the tens place is the smallest, and the digit in the ones place is the largest, Really? And then that the sum of all three digits is equal to 18. Okay, so I hope that you each day have refined your clue or your, your estimate to make it meet each of my clues. And the reveal is there are 648 squares. Wow. 648 squares. So I don't I know can't about you. you that. that's more? No. Yeah, I, I wouldn't have guessed that many. Not at all. So I hope that many of you got right. Raise your hand if you did. Not me. Yeah. Teachers, maybe you should tell me some of your kids who got this right. That one was very difficult. It was a little bit hard. Yes, it all was. Right. But a great guess to mystery. Yes. Well, we have a great week planned for you for next week. We want to remind you or let you know, I guess, that next week we will have dress up days every single day. Monday is um, red and or green. No, green and or red from your toe to your head. That's correct. Nice. You can wear all the green, all the red, or all the green and red you want to. But we want you to be come in festive and excited, but like calm and excited. Also, we have tomorrow, today, you should be receiving a survey because we want to know when we come back in January, we would like to kind of change up some of the things going on in the cafeteria. We would like to improve cafeteria behavior. So we want to know from you, this is students and teachers, what types of incentives that you would like to work for or you would like to earn as a reward for great cafeteria behavior? Yeah, so you'll get a form today. And teachers, if you don't mind, just to have, get, take a few minutes to have the students fill out what they would like to receive mm -hmm. as those incentives. Yes. Was the third thing? And also, <laughs> we have had our food drive going on. And oh, it has been fantastic. And I just have to give a shout out right now because every single morning we have a little boy in Miss Hendry's class, Riker Lanning, that comes in with a bag of food every oh, single every morning. Day. Oh, Riker, way to go. But we've had a lot of students bringing in food. And this is the last week of our food, or next week is our last week of the food drive. So we would like for you all to go this weekend and clean out your cabinets. Like get all the food you don't like to eat and bring all that food in to donate to the food pantry. All right. So we hope to see by the middle of this next week, lots more canned foods coming yes. in, non-perishables, and we'll be collecting those. I think K-Kids is going to be collecting yes. those and organizing them some time toward the middle of the week. Yes, like next Thursday, I think. Yeah, okay, yep. next week, Thursday. All right, guys, we love seeing you be safe, respectful, and responsible as you go throughout our building. And that can look like so many different things, like Ms. Spear said about uh, good cafeteria behavior is yes, one way. Yes, absolutely. Uh, making sure that you put your paper in the trash can, either in your classroom or in the restrooms would be another way. Oh, yeah. There's so paper many things towels. that you can do. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, just make sure that, that you're trying your best each and every day to be safe, respectful, and responsible. Absolutely. And always remember that it's, it's a, a great, great day to be, be a Southside Stallion. Stallion. Bye.